Susan Page, USA Today's Washington Bureau Chief, joins us now. Susan, good morning. Good morning. Uh, as Paula mentioned, President Trump was, was not mentioned by name, really, in the, in the service. But, but you view it as, as kind of a collective rebuke? I, I think that's right. His name was never spoken, but the message was pretty clear. It was, those, it was as though the Washington establishment, and, in, including big figure, uh, the congressional leadership now, three presidents, uh, a whole series of people who have played big roles in American government, were standing up and saying, we want a different kind of, of politics. And I think that was part of Senator McCain's plan by asking the two men who defeated him in his aspirations for the White House to speak. I mean, that is the maybe the ultimate expression of bipartisanship. And Susan, we know the president was not there. He was golfing. Um, he did tweet later, make America great again. Do you think he received the message that you're talking about right now? And did he well, hear I it? I think that uh, tweet that he posted last night was pretty clearly a response to Meghan McCain. Uh, and so, yes, I think we saw a sort of debate uh, in, in absentia, a debate uh, over a, a distance about the state of America, the state of American democracy, uh, how Congress works. I think this was a, a big memorial service. It was about more than Senator McCain's life alone. It was about his vision for how American democracy ought to work in the way it does not seem to be working today. Susan, uh, tomorrow the hearings begin for Brett Kavanaugh. What do you make of the 100 pages of documents that are being withheld? So unprecedented, uh, an announcement made uh, by the White House Friday night that all these documents from his time as staff secretary to George W. Bush will not be released. The first formal assertion of this executive power for a Supreme Court nominee. But I've got to say, Democrats are having trouble getting traction against Brett Kavanaugh. Republicans are very optimistic that he is going to be confirmed with the support of all the Republicans and probably a couple Democratic votes as well. Two months until the midterm, Susan. Uh, how is the president uh, playing out uh, amongst voters now? Should he be on the campaign trail? Will that be helpful uh, for Republicans? Well, try to keep him away, because I think he <laughs> likes to campaign. So I think he will be out there. But, you know, we have a, a new USA Today Suffolk poll that we ask people, do you want to elect a Congress that stands up to President Trump or one that cooperates with President Trump? And by 58 percent to 34 percent, Americans told them, told us they want a Congress elected that will stand up to the president, not cooperate with him. Mm. Susan Page, thank you. Thank you.